Nice. All right, don't move around the table too much. All right, as you can see, Caleb has turned into my daughter, Kiara, and my son. He's not. Caleb can't be here tonight uh, filming, so I thought what better way to talk about racing than with my kids. So. Yep, I'm Kiara. So let's see. First Stop. off, first off, who's your favorite driver? Ross Chastain. Ross Chastain. How come? Because he swashes, he smashes watermelons. Because he smashes watermelons, right? When he wins. And that's mom's favorite too, right? Uh huh. And Zachary keeps on changing it. Yeah. Change, change. Zachary, who's your favorite race car driver? Um, Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott, yeah. Now, yesterday it was Ross Chastain, and the day before that it was Chase Elliott. And the day before that it was Chase Elliott. So he switches back and forth all the time. But do you like Ch or Chase Elliott? Yeah. Did you get to meet him earlier? Yeah. Earlier in the summer? Yeah. You got to meet Chase Elliott too, though, didn't you? And you thought it was pretty cool still, though, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> All right. Well, I know you guys didn't get to watch much of the race, but what you did you think? Did you think the race would might have been a cool race? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You thought it was a good race. Did you watch it? I did watch the race. Who won it? Kevin Harvick won. Ooh. Yeah. You know who almost won? What? Ross Chastain. But guess what? He, he was. He wrecked. <laughs> I know, didn't that stink? But you know what? Chase Elliott didn't do so hot either. So he finished 11th, though. Almost a top 10. I don't and even then know he literally was finished. like this boom. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So, buddy, what's your favorite part about NASCAR? Um, good. Oh, it's good. Okay. Do you like the Rex? Yeah. That's cool. Oh, one time we went to the wreck and there was like a big wreck in front of us. Was that cool? Yeah. Oh, you're talking about in Kansas when yeah. DJ McLeod spun, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah good mm. Well, yeah. Yeah. He spun out. Nice car. But, but this What's is the it. Number 16 car? That's an old car. That's actually Todd Cleaver. Todd Cleaver and Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott I think still it's Todd will. Cleaver. This I'm gonna be wrong now. Let's see. Let's see. I believe it's Todd Cleaver because that's an ex that's a nationwide car. So. Yep. All right. All right. Well, on that note, I'll let you guys go on your walk with mom, and I'll talk more about NASCAR. But yep. Just wanted, we had a good day. And how much I was gonna get bigger? Anything get bigger, man? <laughs> I agree, good. buddy. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yep. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Everybody, say bye. Say bye to the nice bye. people. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. All these, all these NASCAR people are doing wait. <laughs> and bye. Bye. I will see you later. All right. See you later. Have a good time with him. <laughs> That was a close one. I almost didn't have the right hat on. Whew. Wait a minute. Oh. Welcome to Shifting Gears. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that intro with my kids. They're just getting into NASCAR, obviously. Very young. And so uh, they're enjoying it very much so for what little attention span they have. So it's always fun. But we're going to talk just a little bit today. As I said before, Caleb is not here this week, so we're just going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the race. I wasn't able to get the video out yesterday because I just had some stuff going on. I uh, actually didn't get to watch fully the last 
few laps, the last 50 or so laps until later. So that's why I'm also doing the video later. So, and, uh, but we'll go in there. Let's go ahead and get started. Shifting right into first gear here. I want to talk about Chase Elliott because he did not have a good race today. After going six weeks of having really good finishes, the top two, and of course last week he got spun out, but he was running second. Looked like he could be challenging for the lead until he spun out late, but he just didn't. He just was a no show today. And so I want to talk about that. He ran outside the top 10 basically the entire day. Uh, I don't think he even really touched the top 10 most of anything and any of the day. So uh, uh, hopefully that's not uh, uh, an indication of what's coming here in the next few weeks. Um, uh, but however, there is no two mile racetrack in the playoffs, so that's be good for him. Hopefully, uh, Michigan's usually one of his better tracks. So I was surprised to see him run that badly. However, if he just gains two more points, I believe if I heard if I saw this correctly, if he just gains two more points next weekend. He will lock up the regular season championship already with two races left to go, and so uh, see if he can do that. I think he's a lock in. He's definitely going to win the the regular season champion. Of course. His car was picked at random to go to R&D this week, and we'll hear tomorrow if they found anything. Hopefully, there's no penalties to come. Fingers crossed there. Uh, but his car has been... Uh, he's finished top two, like five out of the last six weeks, and they search in-depthly the top two cars. Hasn't found nothing, so I don't expect them to find anything. But you never know. So... Hopefully, next weekend is Richmond. I don't know how well he'll do there. Watkins Glen's the next weekend... We know how well he is there. He could have won the race last year and won three in a row if it wasn't for just uh, bad luck on his part. I think he messed up. I can't remember exactly what happened, but he had got put in the pack, back of the pack last year. But he was literally a second faster than everybody and still ended up finishing second. So I think he's got a good shot to win at Watkins Glen. And then Daytona. He's been pretty good at uh, uh, super speedway races as of lately. So you never, see, you never know what we'll, we'll see. So hopefully he'll go ahead and get in there. He's a lock for the regular season championship, though. Shifting right in the second gear, we talk about Ty Gibbs. Ty Gibbs had a career day so far. It's only his third career start, obviously, so he doesn't have a, a ton of experience. But that being said, he's still finished in the top ten. So that's a, just wanted to get a shout out to him. He is the future of the sport. Uh, I think he's going to win a lot of races, maybe even championships to come. Not so distant in the future. I think it's to come pretty quickly. In my opinion, I think he's in the eighteen car next year. I don't know. I could be completely wrong, but I don't think Kyle Busch is coming back to JGR. In my opinion, I think he's going to be in the 41 Stuart Haas Racing, but that's just my opinion. I could be completely wrong, but I think Ty Gibbs is in the car next year, and I think this is just a tryout period for him. So I think getting a top 10 in your third career start is awesome. I think that's all you can ask for. That's more than you can ask for. I say top 15 for your first handful of starts would be ideal. And he's outperformed that. So in a car that he's not used to. And so um, I think he's just give a shout out there. That's just awesome. He, he's doing really good. Personally, not a big fan of Ty Gibbs, but uh, I do respect the talent. So just give him a shout out. Shifting right into third gear, talk about Ross Chastain yet again in another dust up. But... I don't think this was his fault. Of course, you can see a lot of people because some people are just Ross Chastain haters because he's aggressive. But you can clearly see in the replay, Christopher Bell comes up. Ross Chastain maybe had a foot more to go up and he could have went up squeezed by the wall, but it is late in the race. You're already getting blocked. Probably get a little frustrated and he said, you know, what are you doing? And he just held his ground and got put in the wall. And that's simply, it was not his fault. It was Christopher Bell's fault. When you block... You put yourself at risk at getting wrecked. I think everybody should know that at this point. As, as much as blocking has become acceptable in the sport, you should know this at this point. If you block, you have a good chance of getting wrecked. That's just how it is. They, they'll either let you go, let you in there, let it slide, or they won't, and you will get wrecked. So I don't think that was Ross Chastain's fault. I think it was all on Christopher Bell. That's my dog running upstairs and whining. Anyway, I think it was all Christopher Bell, and I think Christopher Bell even knows that. I think anyone with eyes can see that wasn't Ross Chastain's fault. So to all the people saying that it was, you're just a hater at this point. Shifting right into fourth year, I'm a Chase Elliott fan. So the next person we want to talk about is not necessarily my favorite person in the world, never has been my favorite per person in the world, even before last year. But that's Kevin Harvick. But 
I think we may have just witnessed Kevin Harvick's last win. I really do. So I always th- think when drivers are going close to their ending of their career, end of the career, getting ready to retire, I think every driver deserves one last win. I Obviously, we know he's coming back next year, and I could be completely wrong, and he could go out and win 15 more races for all I know and win two more championships this year, next year. I have no idea. But just based off the speed of the last two years that he has had uh, and the winless streak going on and had just his age getting up there, I think it could very well be his last win that we just witnessed. So happy for him. Glad he got a little another win. Glad he wasn't going to end his career like Jimmy Johnson did. Nobody deserves to end a career going that many seasons winless. So I'm glad he got another win. Uh, hopefully he can at least uh, be good and end his career on a high note. I'm sorry, I don't know what's wrong with my dog. But anyway, hopefully he can end his career on a high note and uh, uh, and go from there. I think he retires at the end of next year is what I'm getting at. I'm pretty sure he's going to do that. Um, but you never know. That is now 15 drivers, 15 different winners in 23 races this year. That is unheard of. That's tied for the most all time in NASCAR. And so uh, three more races left. We could seriously see 16 uh, winners or 17 winners. We could see 18 winners. Who knows? A road course and a short track and a super speedway coming up. That's two wild cards uh, and a short track. I mean, you never know. You never know what we could see. So uh, if I'm Ryan Blaney, I want to win the next, the I mean the next race, and I want to win, uh, especially in the next three races. But definitely the next race, I want to lock it up. And if I'm Austin Cindric, Kurt Busch, those guys that have a win but are lower in points, <clears throat> I don't even know what Denny Hamlin's situation is. Maybe he's up there now, and not in not in danger of losing. But if there are 17 winners, they could be out. So. I don't know. I might even be getting a little nervous there. I don't know. We'll, we might be seeing something pretty interesting in the next couple of weeks. So look forward to that. And then shifting into fifth and final gear here is just the race overall. Seeing a lot of people say it was a great race. Said it was the best race at Michigan in a while. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I had some stuff to do at the last about 40, 50 laps of the race. So I didn't get to watch all of it live. Had to go back and watch uh, the last final laps uh, and even Ross Chastain's incident um, after the fact. So maybe that has to do with it. Maybe that affects my score a little bit. I don't know. Uh, I just thought it was an average Michigan race. I mean, I really didn't think there was anything too special by it. I will say <coughs> Austin Cindric's hit, hard hit at the beginning of stage one. Um, very glad to see him get out of the car. I haven't seen a next-gen car get that damaged in a long time. I mean, as far as the front end goes, last week we saw Ty Dillon get pretty damaged, but I don't think there's been a front-end hit that has damaged that car that badly. So it was definitely a huge hit for him, but he got out. Again, next-gen safety. We've been talking about that a little bit. I think it's still holding up. I think it's still good. I just think... I don't know. I don't know what to think. I just, I just know. I think it's still pretty. I think it's still safe. I think it's good. So, but anyway, uh, put it on a scale. Uh, rate the race. I don't know. I would probably give it. Uh, it wasn't a bad race. It's not like it was really, really boring. But I don't think it was really too exciting either. I'd probably give it a 75%. 70%. 75% maybe a little bit uh, too high. I don't know. 70% maybe. I don't know. Somewhere in that range is what I'd put the put the race. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, maybe it affected my score a little bit, not being able to watch live the last, uh, you know, several laps. I don't know. But uh, I enjoyed it. I always enjoy I, I enjoy a boring NASCAR race because I love NASCAR. But I don't know. As far as I put it on a scale, I didn't. I didn't think this was up there in my top fifteen of races this year. So uh, I don't know. I just put it on. Put it maybe seventy percent, seventy seventy five percent. But anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think. Did you think it was a great race? Did you uh, you think next gen car needs more safety improvements, or do you think of Ty Gibbs getting a top ten? What do you think about Kevin Harvick possibly retiring at the end of next year? That I think. Do you think he stays longer? Do you think this is his last win? Uh, I mean, <clears throat> do you think Ty Gibbs is racing in the Cup Series next year? Uh, share your thoughts down in the comment section. If you like the video, give it a like. 
If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. Still, a lot of people that watch these videos are not subscribed. So if you like the video, just subscribe. You know, we, we bring you content every single week, every single race review, and we're working on more content every day, trying to figure out what else we could do for the channel. So uh, anything to support us would be awesome. And uh, other than that, um, have a good week, and I'll see you next week.